Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Maya and as you can tell by the title, I am going to be doing some cleaning per usual as well as switching out my fall decor to more wintry decor. I am always a fan of switching it up uh, decor wise, but definitely not a fan of the winter or the cold. So that part is a bit of a bummer, but hopefully switching out the decor will help bring some cheer to the cold. I did also want to mention that I was trying out a new lens, which I was really excited about, but I had to use an old camera uh, with it. And so I think the combination just didn't work out for whatever reason and so the quality of the footage is not the best so I apologize but I hope you guys enjoy the video regardless. As I'm sure you can very obviously tell, no, that is not a basketball under my sweater, but I am approaching the end of my pregnancy and we're very excited and, you know, feeling just very blessed to be at this point as we wait just a couple of weeks to meet our new little baby. Um, so for that reason, I haven't been uploading quite as frequently and I'm sure afterward we'll kind of be the same case so I do apologize in advance but I hope you can understand and I would really appreciate your prayers. Aside from the daily pickups and cleaning that I do on a regular basis, I definitely feel like I have entered into nesting mode. I remember hearing about it before I was ever pregnant and I experienced it for sure with my first, but I feel like this time around it's even more intense where I feel like I lose sleep over it, I'm thinking about it constantly, and I have been clearing out closets and donating as much as I can, and it's just interesting how that makes you feel better prepared for welcoming a new little human being into your family, but um, I'm curious if other moms out there have experienced the same thing. Hi. 
As you can see, we are in that very fun phase with my little guy where no toy is quite as fascinating as what's in the kitchen cabinets, right? So that's why you see my baking dishes there. And we do have the child locks on most of our cabinets. However, there are two that require a different kind. So we just haven't gotten around to it. So he's been having a ball in those cabinets, but um, we definitely need to get those locked up. And of course the cleaner and organizer in me is looking forward to when he is old enough to understand how to put things back and we have been working on it a little bit here and there especially with his books because you guys have seen me put his books away a trillion times and his toys and things and we're working on it and you know slowly but surely he's starting to kind of pick up on the idea but um, it gives me joy you know to put his books back uh, just because I know that he loves them and he loves looking through them and it's just a joy to watch him learn and grow. I'm a little bummed because, again, if you watch my channel, you know that I had switched out this rug. Gosh, I'm convinced it's been a few months at this point. And they messed up my order, sent me the wrong rug. And so I contacted them and, you know, got that whole thing situated. And I still haven't received my new rug. So that is definitely a bummer. I was looking forward to having my nice, fresh, clean new rug. But... I guess, you know, you pray for patience and God puts you in situations where you're required to use some patience, um, as silly as that might seem. But I am looking forward to my new rug and I, of course, will show you guys once it finally arrives. I hope that I even like it because I don't even remember what it looks like at this point or if it'll look good or I, I don't know, but fingers crossed. <laughs>
So another fun result that came from using this new camera situation was that it did not record any of my audio. So here I was just showing you guys everything that I picked up to switch out the fall decor for more of that wintry feel. And so I was just explaining that I went to Target and I picked up these pillows and then these two little greeneries and I just thought they were super cute and subtle. and. After that, I went to Joann's, which is where I got the welcome mat and the wreath and the other greenery that I'll show you here in a minute. So I just wanted to keep this in to explain where I got everything and I will of course link everything below that I can if you are interested in any of the things that I got to add some winter feels to the house. Like I mentioned before, my decor style is pretty simple, subtle, minimal, some may say boring, um, but you know that's what works for me and that's what makes me happy personally and so I just want to remind you that if you are in the same boat as me or you do nothing, that is okay too and it's okay if you go full blown out as well. I think that people that go all the way out, gosh, they make their houses so magical and cozy and festive and I love to see it it's just not my personal style and so if you you know compare yourself and are feeling like you're not doing enough or not feeling like you are enough I just want to remind you that you are and it's okay and sometimes we do less because that's what works for us and sometimes we have to do less because of the circumstances right um, but just remember that this time of year is meant to be spent with the people you love and to appreciate them and to spread kindness and not just to other people but to yourself as well. So just give yourself a little bit of grace and know that you are more than enough whether you are decorating or not, whether you are doing all of these things or not, you are more than enough.
thank you guys so much for watching i really appreciate it despite the poor quality of video but i hope you enjoyed it nonetheless and i hope you guys are all doing well god bless